Hello everybody, it's Game Gabster. We are in Masters of the World. This is one of my half favorite games. It's not or it's not okay, it's a geopolitical simulator, you know. It's geopolitical simulator three. I did play the second one, Rulers of Nations. This is this is obviously the third one. It was released in May last year. I think it was in May. Maybe it was April. Sometime then. Uh, after long time, long periods of delay, because they said that it was going to be released in February or something. In any case, uh, I just wanted to showcase this. Um, it's a very, very fun game, although it, ha it does have some problems. So basically, you take in c control of a country, or the head of state of a nation. So we're going to go World Simulation. We're going to start a new game. Uh, the world in 2013, that's the normal... Uh, thing we play. Uh, I haven't played this in a very long time, but let's go. Sorry if the music is a bit loud. Let's choose a random country here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for North Korea, just or maybe Cuba. I don't know. North Korea is an interesting choice. Actually, let's go for something, something stronger. But now. Yeah, let's go for North Korea. Where is North Korea? And, uh, and, and, uh, come on. There it is. Okay, there we go. And then we can choose our representative. Of course, North Korea is a one party state, so there's only one party we can choose here, sadly. Uh, we're gonna choose the woman. She's the youngest one. And we're gonna play. One day is 10 seconds. Characters are random. We're gonna play with the uh, their currency there, and we're gonna get into here. And I'm just gonna show the basics of it. It's quite complicated. There are a lot of la layers to it, and there's a lot to explain. Um, but I really want to do some sort of like uh, let's play with this. Not with North North Korea though. I I want to try something else. Uh, maybe the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Something in Africa, something where I can see the economy, you know, explode and be awesome and help people. Yeah, yeah. That's that's just the start starting mes message that's always the same. With your unemployment rate, you can't keep procrastinating with half measures. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, unemployment rate? Really? I thought I had slaves everywhere. Um, but anyway, there's... Th okay, the, here's the world, right? We have the entire world. Uh, the color coding here is just basically friends and enemies. Uh, China, good friend, Russia, meh. Uh, or, well, they're a little bit more friendly, but the rest of the world kind of dislikes me. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just, I mean, we can, we, there, it's so intricate. There's diplomacy, there's so many things. But basically, budget, we can, uh, you know, look at our budget. This is just a financial screen to have an overview. We have an excess of 2.1% of our GDP. Uh, that's the prediction, at least, for the end of the year. Uh, and then we have this debt. Our debt is uh, on only uh, 38, what is it? Yeah, 38% of our GDP, which is not actually that much. It's quite normal. I think Sweden has the same values. Uh, and then this is the credit rating of, oh, we don't even have a rating, obviously. It must be really bad. Uh, then we have taxation screen. This is where it gets, starts getting important. Look at all these taxes. We can change them, etc. And we do have to follow our party's policies, right? Right. Of course, we're not in the democracy here, but we still have a one-party state and people will disapprove or like uh, what we do. And I'll get to that later, but we can change all the numbers here. We can even make, if I, I go, wait, can I add a reform? Yeah, okay, if I cancel this and I go value-added tax, I can appear on television when I change that. I can also create a new reform and then have lots of taxes and different laws being passed at the same time. So a bill, which, you know, you can start... Uh, to get stuff in there that will ne not necessarily be passed if it's a loan. We can create new taxes, we can abolish old taxes, we can create new new legislation. Uh, our tax investigation 
amnesty for ta tax uh, frauds and things, tax exonerations for investment in real estate, uh, exonerations for donations to charity, uh, war veterans, etc. And then we have our currency, we can look at our inflation level, it's actually quite stable. We, we can change our key interest rate, it's very quite high right now. Um, of course, changing the key interest rate changes consumption and then therefore changes the inflation and the employment rate in the country. Here we can change the uh, salaries of our, um, of our state civil em employees. Uh, we can look at our finance. I don't, there's no stock market here, so... Although maybe it just hadn't showed up yet because a day hasn't passed by. But we can look at our main production. Like how much it's of our national sales to or exports, hydraulic, electricity, uh, building and industry, etc. Potatoes, rice. Uh, then we can go farming. And then we can actually look at all different activities. We can go to different places. These are all nationalized, by the way. The flags means that the these are nationalized industries. Uh, the X's means that there is not producing anything. Then we have we can make contracts with other people. We can meet their heads of state. We can like do a lot of cool things. Uh, there are some downsides to the market here, though, which I'll come to in a moment. Uh, there's we can do the same for industry. We can you know nationalize. Like I can go wait uh, aircraft bauxite, and I can change customs duties. I can subside. Uh, I can. Uh, lift a total embargo. I can even adjust the workforce and, and I can uh, adjust the degree of nationalization, nationalization so I can do a sector state involvement minority shareholder instead of being completely nationalized uh, and we can do you know look at our service uh, what, you know what are we doing our services that are nationalized railway etc energy, our energy production, contracts, dismantling, constructing new plants and things. We can place oil wells, gas wells in places that do have that. So if I go oil, no actually oil platform, and I try to positioning this, it will analyze the area. I haven't clicked yet. It's very weak. It's not going to produce anything really. Come on, nothing. Very weak. Okay. So, if I placed it uh, here, for example, by Iran, of course, it's going to be very different. I can't place it there, of course, uh, because I don't have access to placing it there. But it's very good there. Uh, I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, environment. We can change environmental policies, how much we focus on combating the, these different things if when they ever have there are different natural catastrophes and we can you know be prepared to uh, in combat them and put us less money in the short term if we put more money in the long term we can uh, ratify the Kyoto protocol tax reduction for clean energies etc regulate traffic in urban zones it, this is actually there's so much to show you on uh, so little time let's go what's next police forces I think you get the hang of it I can get agents I can you know uh, have better have them focus on certain areas police uh, highway police etc public safety uh, I can state of emergency speeds blood level alcohol levels driving licenses prostitution um, surveillance cameras. Wow, it's, it's it's there's a lot of stuff you c you can do. You can have a secret service. You can place your spies in different countries. Um, manage networks. I do have spies in these countries here, and I can put goals on them. Political. Uh, normally, you would want to do. Uh, uh, where is that? I could no Belgium. Here, industrial spying, research spying, whatever. There, there's a lot of things you can do, and um, <sighs> immigration policies, army policies, construction of military bases, um, salaries, 
military operations and you all have you always have to balance because you have ministers and they'll disapprove or approve of these things and you have a parliament in a democracy uh, now they'll also approve or disapprove and depending on your laws and you have military commanders who might decide to make a coup if you lower their the military salaries too much too quickly here you can see your health budget healthcare budget uh, oh. oh this is Fukushima cool um what else military operation yeah you can invade thing uh, countries and move the troops around yourself but i'm not very uh, or like that you can actually make the ai move the troops uh for you but there it's not very good the combat ai is stupid retirement policies work policies you can put, look at your demographic pop the you know the our population growth and prepare for the future uh, prepare for you know family pl do family planning uh, we can uh, do house house planning you know uh, fix our old houses build more houses rent regulations etc and we can also do transport we can focus on being more environmental which is what I would always go for and I don't really play right-wing countries it's very difficult um, teacher training we yeah there, here you prepare the future education uh, prepare your research um, culture media sport the media you can d go to events as well um, and here it's interesting here's your country so you can choose a new capital uh, you can uh, as a head of state you can determine your power so he nomination of the head of state it's appointed by a single party right uh, and they've come together every f so often and uh, choose who or how who is gonna do this and then I could always do appointed for life which I think is what actually happens in North Korea I don't think they gather up every so often and choose I think it's appointed for life to be honest um, here I can modify my salary, I can do a personality cult, uh, publicize a movement, go there and, you know, t appear on television, o order a poll on my popularity, not necessary in North Korea. Here's my cabinet, these are my ministers and I can fire and change them and choose from different people, make friends. Uh, and here's the parliament. Of course, there's only one party here, but in other countries, depending on your laws, you can have different amounts of parties, different uh, divisions and alliances. So, determine the powers of parliament. Consul consultants have no real power. Um, and then as you move down this ladder, you get more democratic. Uh, of course, you have to move to this ladder and confirm it, and they have to, to pass it to, which is very difficult to allow more parties and then over time you'll you can actually go on and be even more democratic and uh, make them no con or have votes of confidence or no con or yeah no confidence etc uh, we can authorize the use of referendums uh, referendum wait authorize the use of on the national level um Oh, actually, this I haven't seen. So it's gonna go through referendums only. Is that it? I don't know. But you can look at your law history or laws in progress. And here you can do diplomacy, uh, manage embassies, etc., uh, alliances. Um, what else? You can send aids to other countries, but I I don't really need that, do I? Development aids. I, or I'm the one that needs it, as North Korea, not other countries. You can co go to the UN. You can, you know, seize the Security Council. Ask the Security Council to intervene if you ha if you do have agents that find uh, evidence towards a country and you want to punish them. You can do sanctions. Ask sanctions to be lifted. Uh, status of permanent Security Council member. Uh, leave the organization. Public support. Question the actions, the IMF is here, World Bank, they all give loans and things. 
we there's other there are other organizations so these are non-members so i can join them there's nato all these different organizations there's there are some uh, ngos we can which you can support you can try to apply for these although most of them won't accept unless you know you're part of them but you can also create um a new organization by going here new organizations create a new organization and then you can choose the name you can you know do monetary union political and military introduce uh producing countries and you can also look at the political parties of course here you only have one but determine the power here we can do a free multi-party system tolerated multi-party system um, we can uh, go to syndications of course here there's only one because North Korea has banned all the others associations you can criticize and do things with them here you can look at religious heads and there's only the Buddhist here apparently um, and sects they're all banned in North Korea and then there are key, key figures so here you can access all the other uh, characters in the world or most of them uh, you can go to your family and friends your doctors etc you can uh, go to intellectuals talk to everyone make them happy make them vote for you at uh, unions you, and then you do all this intricate diplomacy kind of thing uh, with them and so on and so forth blah 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 but yeah it's it's very cool although one of the aspects that I do dislike is the if if we go to the economic part it's quite badly um, very badly coded to be honest of course mm, we're playing North Korea but it, so I can't really show that off but what happens is that uh, you can when you nationalize an industry or you build something the return on that investment is always five years five years that's it you know and then it, uh, that's assuming there's no inflation or monetary value change but it's always five years and you get that back that money but sometimes I think well maybe it's that's not really what would happen and you can all and if you go if your debt if you go yeah, if you actually pay off your entire debt, right? I've done this, and then you s you have a sur surplus. Uh, so you 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 don't become a creditor nation. You don't have there's no your money just disappears, which is absolutely it's, it's strange. It's very strange. Uh, so basically, you do have to have some debt because it's <coughs> apparently it's uh, healthy or something. I don't know. And yes, the my main concern though is um, the market itself. It's very stupid. If I produce, if the world requires, th say, okay, three units of a rice, they don't measure it this way here. They measure in billions and trillions of tons of, like normal people do. But let's just say the world requires three units of of rice, and th I produce. Four units of rice and the rest of the world produces those three units so the total is seven my units of rice like, of course I can do contracts with other nations and still gain money from that if they require it but all the surplus that I have of that uh, resource will still be sold to like some magical uh, market it doesn't the price doesn't drop dramatically it's just sold off like, as if there's someone that needs those three billion tons, and the prices don't fluctuate as much as they would do in real life, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I can overlook that. And when it was released, there was a br there were f major bugs. I don't know if they've really updated them, but one, uh, when you conquer the nation, say China takes over. Uh, Kyrgyzstan or Tajikistan or something something very small yeah Tajikistan there uh, their economy would then just suddenly collapse because I don't know it's not realistic it's just collapsed because they the AI just suddenly couldn't handle it 
Uh, and then there was also a bug that one, if you're playing any country, but especially oil producing countries, uh, the in 2016 or a few years later, after after you start the game, right, you'll end up with a huge oil crisis. And why is that? Because fuel. If we go to industry. Uh, no, actually, energy. Actions, all activities. Uh, fossil electricity. Uh, sector, energy info, sector infos. Yeah, here, I need oil and natural gas or coal to. P oh my God! Close that. Close that. Thank you. And then I go, can, can go industry. Where's oil? Oil, oil. Other stuff. I don't know. Still, to like uh, fuel did not require oil to produce. F like you could still produce fuel without having oil. Not because of technologies, uh, but because it's just you know that's the way. It, it was. It suddenly it, they forgot to realize that you know you make fuel out of oil, and then after a while the market, even though it bought off, you know that uh, that oil, you know no one's the demand for oil just started dropping, right? And it would it would be kind of like exponentially. You would notice that it was dropping, and then suddenly, boom! In 2016, ever everything crashes, and then the in like the entire world economy just goes kaploof and it's crazy uh, it's almost impossible to stay in power or like it's possible but you still get you know budget deficits and there's it's insane I, I don't know if they've fixed that I think they have hopefully they have uh, fixed a lot of things but yeah I mean it's very cool uh, also you, you can build trains uh, you can build so many things in this um, even though it's not, you know, the m most amazing game ever, it's it's decent and I, I do like it. Although my resentment towards the people producing it in France is that it's it was super it was it was very expensive. Uh, it was like I paid what it, was it 40 euros, 30 euros, 40 euros for this. I knew what I was gonna be buying, but <laughs> the worst part is that you know they really some some sort of DLCs and they. They don't really have a big fan base, and this, okay, the worst. Okay, here's the worst part. They're gonna be releasing another version in like September this year, or well, they say September, but it's gonna be next year probably. But I feel like it's, you know, it's only been a year. What the hell? Can you fix your fucking game first, and then we can talk about a future? That would be very nice of you, man. Now let's do some military operations. Uh, personal analysis. He's just telling me how commanders are My informants are good. report that the temp temperature on the street. Ah, demonstrations of tourism professionals. I don't care. Or tourism professionals. Seriously, that's a bug. North Korea tourism. The country might suffer. Food food crisis. Anyway, let's go military operations. Uh use chemical weapons no army um, uh, ratify the contact the produce nuclear missiles ratify the non proliferation treaty let's sign that Eritrea is having a food crisis it's their own fault what are these guys doing is that a tanker hopefully it is it's not a military ship what is this hello right there are a lot of people here. I'm at the headquarters of the political bureau where there's an extraordinary... S blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they are talking about me as a leader. Still, um, it's very interesting and eh, I feel like doing something with this. I must let you know a certain concern I have. Blah, blah, blah. Mother's nightmare, obviously. Now we, we need to conquer South Korea. Okay, that's not gonna happen this time, guys. But uh, I, I was just looking through it. What? Seriously, I've been forced into retirement. I haven't done anything at all. Maybe that's the thing. 
yeah, maybe that's bugged as well. Um, forced retirement for queer young moon. Finally, the People's Collectivist Party Political Bureau officially dismissed queer young moon due to a great fatigue caused by the hard exercise of, of the power. A symbol of the taking over by the party. It's number one. Chi Gon Park took the vacant position and formed the new government. The deposed head of state remains present at the party's bosom where her valuable advice will be given the attention they deserve. That means never. Uh, no, not, let's not look at my score. Actually, to be, to be honest, my score, I, I played as Brazil, Angola a few times. Uh, let's see, load game here. Let's go, Brazil. I did quite a lot of good things until this economic crisis came along, um, but really, it, it was—it's been a lot of fun. I'm just gonna show this off before we leave. Uh, my score, total score, I think was like one of the top ten, in at least a, like eight months ago, which means I'm probably bottom at the bottom right now. Uh, Brazil is a common uh, model country for the blah 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 blah. But yes, we can look at our budget here. We do have a an excess, but it's a uh, forecast going down there c very sharply, and this has to do with the our currencies inflate. Oh, we're having a huge deflation, and I think this is m maybe one of the problems I had. Like even though I'm at the bottom interest rate uh, okay here, here's another critique I'm I, I'm quite you know social democratic uh, I'm a socialist uh, at heart and but I, I do have some more radical views of the world uh, and I I think that this game is really centered around our current uh, model of the world you know we have this economy that's it you can't change it you can't do so anything different at all uh, like I, I can't I'm stuck to the system and therefore I can't really accomplish what I actually want uh, also let's look at our finance here see how yeah the stock market is crashing and our growth rate uh, it was going very well we had we had an amazing growth at some point of like almost 10 percent and here this is back last year. It's 2020, so it's been seven years of gameplay, I think. Uh, but yeah, suddenly here, March uh, 2020, boom, everything just goes to hell. Um, so yeah, it's quite difficult. But I haven't really continued on this because this is a save before they updated the game. So I think, you know, I, I really want to start something new and something with not such a big country, maybe. Um, Plus, diplomacy is quite difficult. People don't like me that much. Maybe I'm too leftist. At least North Korea hates me. They're not leftists. They're crazy, crazy people. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing something with this. Please tell me if you do want me uh, to see me play uh, some country. And please recommend some country that you would like to see me play as. Um, I'm, tr I'm going, really thinking of doing the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Or, I don't know. Zambia, Angola, something of the sort, and then even having military invasions and conquering just for fun. I know it's not a conquest game, but I, I want to do something fun, you know? Anyway, this has been Game Gapster. Goodbye.